Mail bag again. Another one. I think this is going to be interesting. Sounds like some kind of assortment. I don't know what these things are. Well, I, don't, I know what one of those things are because I've already opened it. But we'll find out. Stick around. Right. I've already opened this one. I've been buying these things from Ukraine. These resistors and stuff. And I get Tesky all the time from all over the place. And I was thinking, maybe it's about time I bought myself a Geiger counter because you never quite know, you know, where these things come from. You know, why is there a new in box, brand new resistor, untouched from 1991? Right? Why is it radioactive? You just don't know, do you? All right? So I thought I'd get one of these. It's only a cheap one. It's you know from AliExpress. There are links for this thing down below. Little instruction manual. Very little instruction manual. It's not much to it. We'll chuck some batteries in it. I think you can run it off USB power as well, actually. Shall I try that? I've got USB over here. Might be using chucking batteries in. Here we go. It's the BR6 version 3. So international practice average value is is lower than 0.5 microsieverts per hour. Do not exceed the standard. That button. There we go. Right. So this will be testing radioactivity. Pull the screen cover off. Okay, screen cover off. So obviously this will build up over time, so once it's been on for like an hour, I'll give you an accurate representation, I suppose. But yeah, it's got a little graphing here as well, show you what's going on. It's got a beeper, so if it gets a, a dangerous level, it will warn you. So here is the last resistor I got from Ukraine. New in box, absolutely mint condition, unopened. We'll put this to the back of the bench and leave it running. But thanks for listening down below anyway. So the next thing. That's fairly fast. I know so I was getting a bit low on some stuff. Mainly cable glands. So I've got a whole bunch of different cable glands here. Different sizes. I think they're different sizes anyway. These kinds of things. So you have a, like a chassis mount hole and you basically put the cable through this. Fold that around. So it grabs the cable. These are really commonly used. And then that will hold the cable in place. So as you, as you pull the cable, you get the sizing and everything right. The more you pull it, the harder it tightens up. So it means it doesn't just pull out. So I think they're all different sizes, are they? Yeah, different sizes, so I've got a little selection there. These are cheap to get. There we go. Some bigger ones. So we've got 940, 298, and 300. I don't know which sizes these are. It doesn't seem to have any description on them apart from... Yeah, anyway, yeah. Yeah, we go. Alright. Assortment, I think. Ah, right. One of the assault ones I purchased, anyway. is a whole bunch of nut rivets. Or rivet nuts, maybe you want to call them that instead. So the idea is you have a riveting tool, and you can basically have a hole drilled in a piece of panel steel, and you make sure the hole's basically a snug fit on these, push it through, and you basically uh, rivet it with a special rivet tool, and it compresses them and holds them in place so you can then have a riveted nut inside a piece of panel steel very handy I've got a purpose for these um, there's a particular job I want to do which I don't want to do welding on but these will be perfect for it all the two lots I purchased this and also purchased another one which has actually got a riveter tool with it as well excellent yeah, I think I know what's in here I've got to be careful about how open this is what I think it is It's completely wrapped in tape. Yep, get some wire. So obviously I don't want to cut into that. 
which is why I use this instead of an actual knife most of the time. I use this if I need to. I use this because that way, if it is something you've done with damage, like wires, then uh, you won't. So what's so special about this wire? It's Teflon wire. Can you see that? It's a four strands shielded Teflon wire. Let's strip a bit off the down the side and we'll just see what we can do with this. So there you go, peeled some back. So I've got a silver plated shield, got a hard plastic outer which I believe is Teflon based on the feel of it. And we've also got four strands inside the wire which are also supposed to be Teflon and they feel like it. So I got this for doing the precision measurements I need to do sometimes. Sometimes the cables you use really matter, like if you're doing really low measurements or really precise stuff. You need stuff with low leakage and I don't actually have any particularly low leakage cables. I've got some high quality cables but nothing particularly low leakage. And I know that Teflon cables are considered quite good. I don't know if it's a single strand or multi-strand. Yeah, you can see stranded wires in this one here. So it is stranded, not solid core, which is good because it better flexibility. But the plan is to make some cables with this stuff. Put some nice crimp cables on, you know, crimps on one end, maybe banana jacks on the other end or combinations, and make myself some nice leads up. This is, I think, 5 metres or 10 metres of cable, something like that. I can't remember exactly now. Which means I can make a whole bunch of different ones up. Excellent. This box looks very familiar. It looks a lot like one I got last week. Well, actually, today. But it's last week's mailbag video. Because I can't recall too many at once. Otherwise I ran out of material. This happened last week and the week before. Wasn't like, anyway, we actually ran out of mailbag items. Let's open this up. I could be getting carried away. You, you understand why when I... Actually, open it. Full package, I'll give them this. Each one of a sea tank for this person. It's always very well packaged. And it's platinum plastic as well. Excellent packaging. Okay, I think I can just do this with it. Doesn't matter in this case. Just didn't do it hard. It's still original packaging. This looks old. Because it is old. Ooh, shiny. <laughs> Look at the size of that beast! It's a 1 mega ohm resistor. One four two six. Oh, it's got 1675 up there. Hmm. 1987. Let's see what it says in here. Well, it's got the documentation with it saying it's exactly one meg, but the serial number on the front didn't match. Yeah, see, this is not the same booklet. This is 1675, not 1426. It's not the right booklet for this unit, but this is also dated 1987. Same year, but yeah, not the right unit. So can I trust the measurement? Mm, probably not, because it won't be exactly the same. But it said exactly one meg. But it's otherwise kind of new in box. What we've got here is a top which is kind of pushed on. Like kind of pushed on, like it's pushed down because it's probably had an impact. Just try and pull it off. There we go. Alright, there's that. It's like a shield. What you use dual connections for a full wire and there's a shield terminal here. Interesting. It's not as nice as the other resistors I had. But it still looks like it could be a precision thing. Let's find out. So this is what we're getting now. This is on the one meg. So we're very slightly out here. It is a bit disappointing that this book wasn't actually the right one for this unit. I might have to look at the listing for that. 
I don't want to make any claims against Ukraine though. I mean, it's like, if someone's in Ukraine, I want to kind of not give them a hard time about stuff right now because they've got enough shit to deal with. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, it's just not really showing that 1 million, which I was expecting. It's 120 counts down, basically. 200 counts down, around about. So, yeah. But it's got really good thermal characteristics. So, once I know what the actual value is, I suppose, the thermals will kind of make up for that. That's all right. It's close, I suppose. I mean, what's that be? 0.1.02% or something, is it? So on the plus side, radiation's still looking fine. Check out the other videos at the end. Catch you later. Bye.